shoot fights your source for all things fight photography related um, and today I just want to do a quick video to kind of explain my excitement that I've uh, had over the last couple of days um, as I got a new lens um, and not just any lens I got the Tamron 20 to 75 2.8 so um, a lot of people if you look on YouTube on comparison videos a lot of it, a lot of people, uh, a lot of YouTubers have compared it uh, or put it in a comparison test with the Sony G Master 24 uh, to 70. The G, the Sony G Master 24 to 70 is a stupid expensive lens. Now it's, it's an amazing lens, like there's no doubt about it. It's one of the most uh, beautiful lenses, beautiful all around, just journal use lens on the market. But um, it costs a grip. It's like dumb money. So. Um, the Tamron has gotten a lot of uh, props in the industry because it is a very affordable, I mean, relatively speaking, a very affordable um, alternative to spending, you know, four figures for a lens. I think this thing clocked around around $8.99 and $7.99, depending on where you're finding it, if there's any sales. This lens is beautiful. I've had no complaints shooting with it um, in my limited trial runs. Um, and I filmed uh, a couple of shots and, a, and, and some uh, promo work for Black Flag Jiu Jitsu Club, shout out uh, Black Flag um, in Glendale, Arizona. And uh, it, just, it just delivered, like out the box, delivered. There was no learning curve, there was no weird adjustment period. The bokeh is really good, there's a nice separation. The, both stills and video, this thing is a beast. Uh, and I'm really, really excited to kind of take this out uh, on the open road and use this as a general kind of all-purpose lens um, to complement my 7200 that I shoot with on my Canon. So uh, again, this uh, this one here is for my Sony A7 III, and uh, I think it's I think it's just a really good lens to have. It's just a really affordable option for a, just an all-around lens. If you had one lens that you wanted to shoot with, um, just in general use, right? Whether it's fight photography or just all-around uh, photography. <laughs> This focal length is good. Now, some people will lament that, hey man, 28 is too wide or too too narrow. I need a 24. Um, 24 is more ideal. But I do have a 17 to 20, uh, 17 to 24 um, Tamron that I will just pair with this, and it kind of covers all of my focal, you know, all of my width and my focal points from 17 to to 75. And so I really really enjoy it. Um, you can check out some of the footage that that I'm showing here. But it's just, it's just a really, really, really nice lens. And so um, if you're looking for a recommendation from me, if you have a Sony, uh, you know, full frame, mirrorless, E-mount, then you cannot go wrong with this deal. So again, shout out to Tamron. Uh, they didn't give me a lens or anything like that, but just shout out for making um, an amazing product. Again, Tamron 2075, I strongly suggest if you're looking for a budget kind of all around good lens to use for both stills and video. So until the next time, I will see you at the fights.